Part 1. White Clouds. Lone Moon. To War. Together, the people of Fodlan relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. All sad partings and new acquaintances alike, but each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky, a silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. Unforgivable! I cannot fathom that the Adrestian Empire would embark on such a violent course of action. The fault is my own. I failed to see the wickedness within Edelgard's heart. There is no question on that front. She clearly wishes to conquer all of Fodlan. And in order to achieve her own selfish ambitions, she plotted with ill-meaning strangers and defiled the Holy Tomb. Or perhaps her ambitions are even grander than we know. Perhaps she is planning to make herself a false deity by demonizing the Church of Seros. Adrestia received its very name through a divine oracle. To injure the goddess is a sin most foul that shall not be forgiven nor forgotten. We must stop the Empire, and quickly. I have returned, Rhea. Welcome back, Shamir. Were you able to discern the Empire's movements? Their main troops are marching towards Garrig Mach. It is said that they will join forces with Edelgard's army and arrive within two weeks. Two weeks? That is not enough time. It will require all of our efforts just to prepare our defenses before then. We must send notice to all surrounding villages at once. We must order the residents of Garrig Mach to flee for their lives. It will be done. Professor, listen closely. If our enemy invades the monastery, I will have no choice but to stand upon the battlefield. If something happens to me, I am entrusting my sacred duties to you. You must have guessed it by now. The truth of who you are. Or perhaps I should say, your lost memories are surely beginning to return. I have acted all these long years as a mere proxy for you. But the duty is yours, and yours alone. Only you can lead the people of Fodlan. Rhea, please. You must tell me all that you know, I beg of you. <sighs> that one is the progenitor god. Am I correct? In a sense. Our dear professor is a vessel, one who carries the power of the progenitor god within. In time, the vessel will become one with the power contained within, and the progenitor god shall return to this world. I see. I trust that you are aware of the questionable nature of this experiment. But I suppose there is no turning back. I ask that you help our friend. And in doing so, help her. I am waiting and hoping for the moment when our creator rules this wayward land once more. I understand. As ever, I will take you at your word. Lady Rhea! Brother, I will do my part as well. Flame, were you eavesdropping? <sighs> Regardless, I am glad to hear it. You owe your life to the Professor, after all. 
And in the end, they may prove to be our brethren. You have my gratitude, Sedith. And you as well, Flane. As followers of the Progenitor God, it is up to us to see our mission through. I can't believe I did it! My interest is piqued. Impressive as ever. It's always satisfying to see such skill in motion. That's nothing to boast about. Just part of the job. Sure, but I hear there isn't a knight out there who can match your skill at reconnaissance and infiltration missions. Don't forget assassination and coercion. Is there someone you need killed? Ooh, so violent. Why would you jump to that conclusion? You went out of your way to find me. I thought you might need a favor. 
Uh, sorry to disappoint, but I didn't come to request an assassination. I just want to talk. With me? Of course. You've piqued my interest for a while now. A little birdie told me you were born in Dagda. Is that true? That's pretty far away, beyond even Bridget to the west. So, what brought you to Fodlan? I worked as a mercenary in Dagda. That is, until I was defeated in battle against the Empire and left for dead. I see. I'm surprised they didn't take you as their prisoner. I know how to conceal myself. Yeah, of course you do. Still, with your particular skill set, couldn't you make your way back to Dagda whenever you please? That is true. I could return if I really wanted. But Rhea took me in, and I owe her a debt. I also don't hate it here. For now, this is where I belong. Where you belong, huh? That's heavy stuff. I wonder if this is where I really belong. I wouldn't know. You need to figure that out yourself. you you again can't you see I'm busy trust me I didn't mean to interrupt so how did you like the cake I bet you ate it didn't you I knew it was irresistible what was the experience like I'm curious from a research perspective I don't know I didn't need it I gave it to some kid you gave it to some undeserving child We've been over this. I don't like sweets. Cake is not a sweet. Cake is the divine essence of the heavens. Everyone has their own tastes. That's true. But life without cake is no life at all. Your dismissiveness regarding cake is inexcusable. I'm not sure why you're so fixated on this. I simply can't resist the spongy magnificence of cakes. I don't understand how you can be so dispassionate about it. I don't know. I just don't like it. Just try a bite. Come on, open up. No, I already told you I don't want it. But I made this one with care and attention, love even. Uh, and I went light on the sugar just for you. Not light enough, I bet. If I eat this, will you stop bothering me? less just don't give it to some silly child this time let's get this over with why am I so off yesterday wasn't like this some days I just can't seem to hit anything your mind, body, and technique are not synchronized. Find harmony between the three. You lack experience. You'll improve if you practice. Now that you mention it, Shamir, how come I've never seen you train? Do you keep odd hours? Or are you just so good that you don't even need it anymore? I am always training. Look here. A dagger. Watch. Wow, nice throw. That was a long one. But does throwing knives at pillars really count as shooting practice? Look closely. Is that... a centipede? You pierced it clean in half. How did you even see that? I train everything. Eyes, speed, accuracy. Watch as the bird flies. Feel the wind. Recognize the distance between objects. Not all training requires a weapon. Integrate training into your daily routine. My daily routine, huh? Well, that's great advice. Thanks. I'll do my best. Very good. Just be cautious. <laughs> Thank you. 
a problem jumping into a fight, but it feels strange going up against my father. We aren't especially close, but he's not an opponent I'd want to face. I'd almost rather fight a monster. I hope he's not part of the group coming to attack Garrett Mach. You know, Professor, I keep hearing good things about you. I gotta admit, I'm curious. Wanna let me into your class? All right, that was easy enough. Come on, we're gonna run this place. starting an all-out war, isn't she? But an enemy is an enemy, no matter who they are. Don't let compassion for her get in your way. That's mine. Thank you for finding it. back to last month and throttle my carefree self. Now it turns out Edelgard is the Flame Emperor and the new Adrestian Emperor. And she's striking out against the monastery with the full force of the Imperial Army behind her. We gotta beat her at her own game. For our sake as well as Lady Rhea's. Oh, this is mine. Thanks. I'm glad to have it back. be really busy with assignments and getting ready for graduation but now now that things have turned out like this i guess there's nothing to do but fight Flame Emperor was Edelgard all along. Flame's abduction? Geralt's murder? The turmoil in Remire Village? Whether or not she was the mastermind behind what happened, it at least seems like she was involved. And yet she was able to remain so composed while she was enrolled at the Officer's Academy.
enjoy baking sweets, but I'm not sure how I'll do cooking other types of food. Hmm, I see. Cooking is much more exciting than studying or training. Wow. <laughs> be liking that greatly this is my absolute favorite how did you know professor This is so good. Can I have seconds? I like this. It's amazing. My fave, in fact. Do you like it too? Hmm. I like seeing a table full of my favorite dishes. This dish. It was my father's favorite. This is my most favorite dish of all. I love it almost as much as Crestology itself. I did not expect much from the dining hall, but this does not disappoint. Eating food always fires me up. Hoorah! Let's go fight somebody! delicious goddess forgive me I've just got to indulge the flavor is nostalgic to me for some reason hmm I'd like some more
delicious food really takes my worries away. This is my favorite. I am rather happy you went out of your way to pick it, Professor. I hear the Alliance's territory will be in danger if we don't get rid of these Empire guys. If the Alliance is in danger, that means my sister's in danger too. There's no way I'm gonna allow that. It doesn't matter how many guys they throw at us. I'll beat them all. These muscles aren't just for show. But first, I gotta get some food. Oh, hey! I can't believe I dropped this. Thanks for bringing it to me. Important nobles in the Empire are known for taking power from the previous Emperor, my father included. I didn't think it possible that the Imperial Princess could ascend the throne so easily. However, it seems that both my father and Caspar's are supporting Edelgard. Having both the Minister of Domestic Affairs and Minister of Military Affairs on your side gives you total control over the Empire's military and finances. You must have been making preparations for quite some time without anyone noticing. Your class seems pretty... Eh, relaxed. My professor is so strict. So is the house leader. What do you say? I believe I'd enjoy being a member of your class. Wonderful. I look forward to watching you close up. Uh, that is to say, observing your teaching style. By the way, I'll need some time for naps. Two hours of class time should be sufficient. Professor, something to report. Unexpected, isn't it? Apparently, this is the first time Garrig Mach has been invaded in its whole 995-year history. It's my job to protect this gate, so even if enemies come in droves, I will never let them through. I hope we both survive. Let's battle with all our might and pray we win this thing. Professor, I'm glad that I came to the Officer's Academy. I feel accepted here. I've learned so much. Honestly, I'm surprised at how much I've grown. So, I will not let the Academy be destroyed. It's important to me, and I will protect it. I feel braver just hearing you say that, Professor. We're gonna win this, Professor. Oh, that's mine! Thank you so much. I've been looking everywhere. Hello there. 
this one, yes? I this one, yes? I this one, yes? I this one, yes? I think this one, yes? I thank you. 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 Return soon, please. Hey, welcome. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business with you. You have a good eye. A 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 pleasure doing business with you. Come again. Pardon me. Half of the Empire's six great noble families have declared their support for Edelgard. Of the other three, Lord Vester was assassinated. Hubert, his son, will succeed him. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is under house arrest. His wife is now supporting Edelgard. And my father, he was stripped of his role as Prime Minister. As a result, House Eyer has lost all of its power, all of its lands. We have lost everything. I... I... What do I do? Oh, Professor. Here to recruit me, I presume? You have perceived my excellence. Good. But you are not the only person trying to recruit me. I would be happy to join your class, if you are offering. <laughs> I thought you would say that. I look forward to learning under you. You will soon see how superior I am to Edelgard. <laughs> Half of, of the burn and my fuck. I. Oh, I was looking for this. Thank you so much. struggles still it has been hundreds of years since all of Fortland was consumed by war I didn't actually think it would come to this I feel as though I'm not in my rightful place I cannot protect the things I should professor if I survive this war I wish to return to my homeland to the land of my king Thank you for bringing me this. Life without it was difficult. Hey. We're falling behind. I don't know that we can keep up with the new Emperor. To think that she was able to raise an army of that size right under our noses. However hard we fight, I give us a 50% chance of winning. The enemy has too many advantages. We must make careful preparations. Thanks. How did you know this was mine? job to protect Lady Rhea. I've got to do it, and I got to do it as best I can. If that means I got to die for her, then I will. Uh, 
How could Edelgard treat Lady Rhea like she's the bad guy? She's never been anything but nice to everybody. I just don't get it at all. Hey, that's mine. Thanks for finding it. the church must cast aside all selfish desires and devote themselves fully to their beliefs but is it right to wield piety as a weapon i have never considered such things before the church i i, I have always done what i thought best to save the people of fodlin choice but to fight, have we? Oh, but why would Edelgard do something like this? I'm sure we'll be all right, though, Professor. The goddess will keep us safe. Oh, Professor! I have a small request for you. I'd love it if you would add me to your class. I can just tell that studying under you every day would be such a treat. Wow, really? Thank you so much! I'm so happy! I hope to learn a lot from you! I guess what I'm sure... Have that girl's head. Just you wait. Professor, can we really defeat someone who is willing to turn their back on the world just to uphold their own beliefs? I've spent my whole life running in fear, and now I. Surely we can win if we rely on each other. Right, Professor? <laughs> Professor. War is breaking out again, is it not? An honorable notion. Do you think there is something to be done? Whatever shall we do? I never wanted another war. All we can do is steal ourselves for the fight ahead. <gasps> oh! That is mine! Thank you so very much! Need something? See you again soon.
Learning these things gives me great difficult... Uh... Difficulty. Music speaks to the heart. It's more powerful than any weapon. The Glory of Progress. Hello there. How dare they threaten the goddess? Such a vile act cannot be forgiven. There is no need to worry, I promise you that. Divine punishment will surely fall upon them. <laughs> in the days of yore, the goddess would grow angry with such insolent fools and roast them in ALL. The Empire is moving quickly. Edelgard must have been preparing for this for a while now. If you really think about it, she must have been planning for this even before you got the Sword of the Creator. Of course she was always a step ahead of us. We were blinded by the Ball and the Battle of the Eagle and Lion and everything else. I refuse to go down like this though. So let's do something about it. What do you say? It's you and me, Teach. We've got this. Can I ask you a favor? You found it, Teach. I've been looking everywhere. Whew, thanks a million. You found it. What is Edelgard even trying to achieve? She wants to destroy the church so badly that she'll take on anyone who doesn't fall in line? I don't get it. I just can't believe she'd start a war over it. Not to mention using such nasty tactics to get her way. Could Captain Gerald's death have also been a part of her plan? Don't you go and die on me, Professor. Captain Gerald would never forgive you. Oh, that's mine! Thanks so much for finding it! Oh, that's mine! What? Really? Okay. Professor. We're gonna win. Oh, that's mine. Thank you so much. I've been looking everywhere. mean for us, Professor? And why does she even want that? I wonder why she'd think that. That's how it always goes, I guess. 
You never realize something can't be undone until you've done it. Oh! Um... Professor! My class is... Um... Would you, um... Can I join your class? Yes! Thank you so much! This will be so much better! I don't know why, but I'm just so much more comfortable when you're around. owing big debts to Duke Geert of the Empire. He is the Minister of Affairs that are foreign. He is a friend of Edelgard. He is to her side. What should I be doing? I am spending my days with devotion to my studies. There is something I think of when looking at you. I am feeling that the way you are teaching would give me great benefit. Is it possible to be switching to your class? I would like to be requesting that of you. I have so much gratitude. I'm still without... Uh, still not used to the speaking of your language. But I have full comprehension. Please, Professor. Teach me all of the things you know. Choice is not to be friends. My Bridget is. I have had the arrival of a letter from Edelgard. She is asking that I join her side. She is making the decision. Uh, no, she is deciding if Bridget is a friend or an enemy of the Empire. But my choice is not to be friends. My choice is to fight with you. Bridget is not a friend of the Empire. We will not be following again. We will be ready to fight with you instead. I had lost the place of this. You have my thanks. Thank you. 
This is what I do. I just worked harder. what I do. became emperor and raised an army, huh? Who knew the kid had it in her? I mean, yeah, of course, I knew she'd be emperor eventually, but the more I think about it, the more surprised I am. I wonder who's gonna win. Thinking about it makes me scared. We're up against the entire imperial army. Still, I know someone as smart as you will figure something out. How did you know I lost this? Thank you for bringing it back to me. Huh? Professor, what actually happened last month? I can't keep up at all. Edelgard is the Emperor, and she's declared war against the Church? So now we're at war? What is going on? I really don't understand any of this. What should I do? Things must be pretty crazy in Fargus about now. My father must be beside himself. I don't get it. Why did Edelgard make enemies with the nobles? Me either. Of course. Even if we did get it, what do we do about it? Oh, that's mine. Oh, thanks, Professor. You really saved the day. We'll have no choice but to fight. What's going to happen to us? Oh, well, we'll just have to try our best. Um, Professor, hi! I, I have a request for you, if that's okay. So, um... 
I just... I want to join your class, please. Huh? Really? Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm so, so happy right now. I just know I'll be able to learn all sorts of things with your guidance. I can't wait. For that, how'd you know? Yes. His Highness calls for the head of Edelgard. For me, that is cause enough to fight. His Highness would not say, but I can think of only one explanation. She must have been involved in the tragedy of Dusker. Professor. Professor, I guess it's easy for me to say this now. I'm so glad I'm from the Alliance. I had no idea Edelgard was so scary. And Dimitri seems totally different than before. I wouldn't bend a knee to either of them. Well, I definitely don't hate him. <laughs> he rarely takes things seriously. But somehow, I just know we can always rely on him. Well, if we're forced to protect this place, our future is going to be dark no matter what. Oh, you found it! Thank you so, so much. You're a sweetheart. Empire's aggression cannot stand, but if we are going to attack them now, we must be honest with ourselves about our chances of success. It goes without saying that I will fight the Imperial Army with everything I have for as long as I am able. But House Gloucester's territory is adjacent to Imperial lands. Let us proceed with caution. Oh, most kind. Thank you for bringing this to me. Protect Garrig Mark. Defiling the holy tomb was a sacrilege. I will not allow such a thing to happen again. The Archbishop has already given you a new responsibility. I want you to rise to that honor. I have something to ask of you. somehow connected to the captain's murderer. Well, perhaps it's pointless to get upset about the past. My duty now is to prepare for battle. We're depending on your strength, Professor. Crush our enemies. Captain, I hope you're watching. We will protect Garrick Mark. Oh, this is mine. I thought it had vanished. Thanks, I owe you. 
The holy tomb held many crest stones. This is the first time I've heard of crest stones being hidden away in such a place. But more importantly, I'm interested to know the Empire's aim. Why would their army desire crest stones? There is power there, yes. And yet, I must think on this. The crest stones lie at the heart of the events surrounding Conan Tower and the chapel as well. And of course, the crest stones somehow transform those traitors and their captives into demonic beasts. Could that possibly be their aim? The Empire's army may well plan to use crest stones to create demonic beasts. herself the Flame Emperor was connected to those strange beings. The Imperial Army might be using even more terrifying methods than we know. You had better be cautious, Professor. Any amount of carelessness might prove to be our undoing. Hey! That! That's mine! Thank you for finding it! Hey! That! That's mine! mind behind the attacks on the monastery was Edelgard? Wow. Doesn't make much sense, though, does it? There would need to be all sorts of territories and groups tangled up in this sort of mess. <sighs> I'm gonna stop. I don't really have the head for this political stuff. Mostly, I'm worried about my old opera company. I wonder what's happening in the capital right now. I hope they're safe. Where did this turn up? Thank you for getting it back to me. Professor. Excuse me. How are you, Professor? Any new changes to report? With the Imperial Army drawing near, it is most vexing that we cannot relax and converse as we once did. Thankfully, you have the divine protection of the Goddess on your side. Please try to listen carefully for her voice. May the Goddess's voice reach you. Our negligence allowed the Empire to invade. Edelgard probably gathered her soldiers in Garrig Mach, intending to do this from the start. Soldiers disguised as merchants and pilgrims to avoid suspicion, infiltrating the entire area little by little. They couldn't be better prepared. We'll have a tough time winning this one, I'm afraid. You have my thanks. Uh. 
need something. This one? You're all set. See you again soon. anything less. Let's not exaggerate. That was helpful. Natural. It seems my proficiency has improved. Get it. Oh, thanks, Professor. I I got it right. You really think I'm that great? It's starting to come together for me. I guess I'm still growing.
Yes. May I ask a question, Professor? Wow, you're a genius! Teacher. You called, so I came. Thank you. Not bad. So? Sure. Yes. Very good. So? That was delicious. Thank you. I'll visit again when I'm free. I am with you this time, brother? No need to worry, Flame. Simply leave it all to me. Must you always take away all the fun from me? A most satisfactory result. All thanks to you. Thanking me? But you did everything. As expected. All that hard work's paid off.
Ah, oh, shucks. I guess I did it. Your swordplay is captivating, exceedingly graceful, yet mindful to guard the weaknesses that often accompany such elegant flourishes. Lawrence, are you spying on me? That's not very noble. Rude of me to watch so long in silence, I do confess. Yet I could not bring myself to interrupt. I believe that such a deep grasp of swordplay can only mean that you have experienced the privilege of a noble birth. You just don't let up. I didn't inherit my sword skills, Lawrence. I trained. I earned them. One's lineage does not affect one's talent or tenacity, to be sure. But a noble is raised in an environment more conducive to the honing of martial skill. Those brought up in the lap of luxury are blessed with a far wider variety of options for their futures. And a noble raised in that fashion is better equipped to keep the peace for the common folk. Sure. And besides keeping the peace, what are the nobility's other duties? Matters of state for a start. A noble has the ability to declare war, for instance. A commoner does not. And a noble who carries the blessing of a crest has even more power. One move from such an individual can exert massive influence. Of course, such influence must only be wielded with discretion. It is a noble's duty to use power wisely. Whether or not it's their duty, if they don't use their power wisely, the people will revolt. Hmm. Indeed, the motivation to revolt can only come from discontent with the nobility. But if the people are well protected and enjoy peaceful and happy lives, there is no such motive. Thus, if such a revolt does occur, the nobility must be held accountable. The nobility must be held accountable, hmm? I never thought I'd find myself agreeing with you. Maybe you're not as bad as I thought. In fact, I'll let you in on a secret. I am from a noble family, House Karen of Fargus. I used to be known as Cassandra Rubens Karen. Perhaps you've heard that name before? House Karen? It cannot be! Are you the one who was driven from Fargus for some grave crime? So people say. However, I didn't do anything wrong. Anyway, how do you rate me now? On one hand, I am a noble, but I'm also a fugitive. I see. Well then, will you do me the honor of a bout? <laughs> so you'd like to suss me out with your sword? Sure, I'll take you on. Flame, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. You worry too much, brother. I think a kidnapping is good cause for concern. I was so worried about you, I nearly fainted. Had that not happened, I would have never been allowed to join the professor's class. Even from something so dire, some good did come of it. That is a dangerous attitude. This world is full of peril. You must be more vigilant. Please understand, I allowed you to enroll here only because I thought it best for your safety. I am very much aware of that. You wanted to speak to me of something? Yes, my dear little sister. You are kind beyond all measure, and you are the very picture of innocence. But precisely because of these very fine qualities, I worry about your interactions with the others here. This year's students are particularly eccentric. As your brother, it is my duty to help you with any concerns you may have. I do appreciate the offer, but all the students and professors have treated me exceptionally well. Even so, there must be at least some worry. Please, you need not conceal anything from me. You worry far too much. There is truly nothing to share, and nothing for you to fret over. 
Are you absolutely sure? The idea of you suffering in silence is unbearable to me. Enough! I made it clear that nothing is wrong. I stand by my word. Well, there is one concern that comes to mind. What is it? Tell me. I will help however I can. There is a certain somebody who seems determined to get in the way of my friendships with my classmates. What? That's horrible! Fear not. I will handle this scoundrel for you. Just tell me his name. It is you, brother. Now then, I must be on my way. What was Flame getting at just now? Let's see, I was speaking to her. I asked her to share her concerns, and... Was there something else? <laughs> no matter. Fear not, Flame. Your brother will protect you from all harm!
Guide me well. I won't allow it. Let us away. Ready any time. I got this. Ready and willing. Stay focused. Who, me? Let's get to it. Ready when you are. Destiny unfurls. There is always more to learn. <laughs> Lament your weakness. have much to learn. Destiny unfurls. I have mastered this ability. It's all making sense now. Oh. 
Lady Ray up proud. That's the golden deer for you. Should have trained better. as such. I made it this far. You're really tough. I'm pretty strong. I 
get it now. No problem. Hey, Professor. I might have to go back home for a little while. Well, that's one way of putting it. The Almiran forces are causing trouble at Fodlin's Locket. Oh, do you know where that is? Well, the mountain range that separates the Alliance from Almira is called Fodlin's Throat. There's a fortress right on top of the throat, and they call that Fodlin's Locket. Well, yeah, you could say that. I'm sure my brother would be able to handle them on his own. But he said he really wants me to help out. I guess he's a bit tired out from all his hard work. Anyway, our dad's not as sprightly as he used to be. He's not up for a fight. Apparently, it would look bad if we left it to the retainers. I really, really don't want to go, but I guess I have to. Hey, Hilda. I, well, I wasn't trying to eavesdrop, but I heard you talking. Hmm? Oh, what's up, Zero? You're gonna fight the Almirans, yeah? Yes, but it's nothing you need to worry about, Zero. It's not that. I was just wondering if, if maybe I could maybe go along with you. But you'd be fighting people from your homeland. Do you really want to do that? None of them would remember me anyway. It's just that I got captured in the battle at the Locket, and that's how I ended up here. So I'm kind of worried that other kids who lose their folks might not be so lucky. Before Lady Rhea took me in, I had a real hard time as a servant of House Goneril. I'm sorry to hear that, but it's not like I'll go around snapping up all Myron children. That's good, but I just... I want to see things for myself, so I know that everything's okay. Hmm. Well then, let's go together. Oh, would you want to join us, Professor? My brother will be there, but I'm a little scared about fighting all those fierce Almirans. If you could come too, it'd be really great. We'd all feel way safer if you did. Great! I know we'll be okay if you're there. Let's head out right away. I'll go and get ready too. <laughs> this might be interesting. Well, I'll give it a shot. Am I cut out for this? If it benefits the cause, so be it.
Most of our allies have fallen, 
My big brother and I can probably handle this, though. Hilda, glad you made it. Lord Holst has been afflicted with a sudden illness and couldn't come. He's not here? Oh, I'm sorry. You must have been absolutely terrified. It's okay, though. I brought along someone who can definitely help us. That's you, Professor. Please help us save our allies and protect Fodlin's locket. Good thing I knew about this back road, huh? We ought to be able to help our friends from here. Who, me? Guide me well. Ready and willing. Stay focused. Let's get to it. Ready when you are. Ready anytime. That helps. Thank you. Stand ready.
Won't allow it. As expected. Stronger? Thanks. <laughs> Guess I'm pretty strong.
destiny unfurls. That's the golden deer for you. Sorry, the victory is mine. Appreciate it. sometimes.
works for them. They say experience feeds growth. Next. Lament your weakness. Lady Rhea proud. Thank you. It was a good try. Yeah, I 
I've got this down. Apologies. Gotta do. next time either <sighs> we did it somehow Cyril professor thank you you bet I'm gonna drop by my family's estate and complain to my brother a bit you two should head back <laughs> They aren't really trying to cross Fodlan's throat. I'm not saying they're not serious, but fights like this one aren't really invasions. They just start fights like this sometimes. It's so they can show off how strong they are. I think it's pretty dumb. I mean, people are getting killed. And why? So some guy can think he's tough? After every fight, they do a big feast and everybody eats and dances and there's music. It's supposed to honor the dead, but I figure they just like to make noise. I think they're all idiots, but if I'm real honest, it wasn't the worst way to live life. Nah, I'm where I belong now, and I don't really like Almira. If they want to show how tough they are, then they ought to look after kids who've lost their parents. Ooh, I'm tired. Professor, Cyril, thanks for all your help. You get a chance to see your brother? I did, though I think I'd be better off otherwise. He was horribly ill, for one thing. He looked so pale and haggard. Apparently, he'd eaten a bad mushroom before the battle, and it made him horribly sick. What an idiot. Anyway, when I told him we'd handled the Almiron situation, he was just gushing with praise. I tried telling him that it wasn't all me, but he didn't even listen. That did feel pretty good, I'll admit. But then things got awkward. He started trying to pawn off his whole inheritance. I told him I wanted none of it. Eventually, he settled for foisting this thing on me. Do you know what it is? One heck of an axe. He gave it to you? Yes. It's a magic axe called Freikugel. It's the hero's relic of House Goneril. He said that I should have it, since the crest I bear will allow me to wield it. He was so insistent, I eventually relented. But I don't think I can be responsible for something so precious. Hey, Professor, why don't you take it instead? 
hero's relics contain terrifying power. They're beyond the capabilities of a novice like me. You're the only person I trust to take care of it. Please, help me out here. Thank you so much. I honestly didn't know what I was going to do with this thing. A big scary axe is not my style. Plus, look closely. Parts of the axe are pulsating like it's alive. How gross is that? But I'll use it if you tell me to, Professor. Or you could get somebody else to wield it if you like. It's all up to you now. That Hilda, she really is something. Listen up, everyone. The Imperial Army is upon us. If you can fight, pick up a weapon. Everyone else, hurry up and evacuate. We have the Goddess's protection on our side. We have nothing to fear. Victory will be ours. Professor, are you ready? Well, hurry up. I don't need to tell you that the situation is dire. We have some support troops from the local nobles, but the army we're facing is immense. No matter how you look at it, we're at a disadvantage. To make matters worse, the enemy is being led by Edelgard. Do not underestimate how extraordinary her abilities are. She's back already? Talk about impatient. If we don't stop them, the academy will be destroyed. Prepare for battle, everyone! We will stop Edelgard's rampage! Our opponent is formidable. But if we work together, we will not fail. Enough talking. Let's go! Dear Goddess, please protect us all. I shall fight with all that I have. It is an honor to fight alongside each of you. Professor, Claude, you'll lead the way, won't you? You won't let any of us fall, right? <sighs> I wanted to talk to Rhea first. But as expected, that won't be possible. What did she hope to accomplish at the Holy Tomb? What happened to you as a baby? There are still so many things I need to know. The same goes for the real origin of the Crest Stones and the hero's relics. As for Seros and Nemesis, just how much of their mythology is true? It's true. But lucky for me, I refuse to die with so much still unknown. Hey, Teach. All joking aside, can we possibly survive this battle? That's all we can do, right? If we gave up, the god of fate wouldn't be happy. I'm a lot of things, but I'm not the kind of man to just roll over and die in a place like this. I have my own ambitions to see to. There are things, dreams, that I must see come to fruition. And I've been thinking, I want you to see those dreams realized as well. On top of all that, there are still so many secrets out there, just waiting to be uncovered. We can't let that stand, can we? So, Teach... No, scratch that. You're so much more. You're my ally and my friend. Teach? Friend? None of those words quite capture what you've come to mean to me. We may not be connected by blood, but I believe our bond goes deeper than that. Now that we know each other, our hearts are connected. Even if our paths diverge and we're forced to say goodbye, I know that we'll meet again. And so, for lack of a better word, I gratefully call you my friend. And I hold fast to the belief that this isn't it for us. No matter who or what you really are, I'll always be on your side. You can't count on much in this world, but you can count on that.
thank you. Blinded by the frigid cold, creeping through the loneliness for ages untold. In your heart, you're desperate for the sweet embrace of light, pushing through and crawling with all of your might. Here, creepy, creepy, creepity creep. Now, creepy, creepy, creepity creep. Oh, Claude, you weren't, uh, watching me, were you? I saw the whole ritual, yes. You have a gift, Annette. I could watch that all day. In fact, I just might. Claude! Ugh. Can you please forget you saw that? I was just making up a silly song to pass the time while watering the plants. Sure, sure. It could be my secret serenade, if you so please. But tell me, you were born in Fargus, right? Yes, that's right. I thought so. You're really talented, you know. It's been a while since I heard a song like that. One that stirs me to my very soul. Soul stirring? My creepity creep song? I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. I never, ever exaggerate. In fact, it reminded me of rituals we have back where I grew up. We'd gather around a blazing fire and spend the whole night caught up in song and dance. Not unlike what you just demonstrated. Really, the dance I'm thinking of is exactly like the one you just did. We'd scream like beasts and then jump up and roll around. It's freeing, isn't it? Scream? Like a beast? That is not what I was doing! And... And what's this weird ritual you're talking about? Even better than your angelic voice were your lyrics. I can't even begin to fathom the deep meaning they contain, but maybe if we talk about it... Deep meaning? No. Just... No. Oh, I get it. It's the sort of thing you have to figure out for yourself. Okay, don't tell me. Give me time. I'll work it out. Work what out? Oh, have you already watered the plants? Sorry, I'm just realizing it was supposed to be my turn this week. Ah, uh, no, it's fine. Really. Okay, see you later then. Creep, Betty, creep. He is not gonna let this go, is he? <laughs> Ignaz, you're in a hurry. Is something the matter? The professor wants us to gather at the training grounds. Didn't you hear? Of course I did. I'll head over in a bit. Um, are you sure you want to wait? I can hear the professor calling. We're not needed until after the lunch hour. We have plenty of time. Oh, I guess so. I was just panicking a bit. I wish I could be calm like you. Why are you so unflappable? Well, rushing around doesn't help, does it? I mostly try to stay out of everyone's way. There's no point in overexerting yourself. Anything that needs doing will get done eventually. Huh. So that's the secret to happiness. I suppose. But it's not nearly as philosophical as you make it sound. No, it's perfect. I feel like... I don't quite fit in with other people. So in situations like this, where I have to talk to someone, I panic a little. Please, teach me how to be as calm and collected as you are. Honestly, Ignatz, you're making this out to be much bigger than it is. I mostly just don't pay attention. Being like me is more trouble than it's worth. But you always seem so happy. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no need to apologize. Come on, let's head to the training grounds. I may slow you down now. All right. You don't have to rush. But I'm going to anyway. See you there. Goodness, don't strain yourself. <laughs> Hey.
Hey, Ignatz. What you doing? Cyril, hello. I was just looking outside. Are you off to work right now? I'm gonna get a bucket and get rid of that big puddle everybody keeps walking around. Oh, you're getting rid of the puddle over there? That's a shame. Huh? I've quite enjoyed looking at the puddle. But pay me no mind. The work needs doing. I know. I... Huh? What's so nice about it? Well, look at it. With the addition of the puddle, the whole landscape has changed dramatically. Plus, it's perfectly unique. No two puddles are alike. Light will never again hit the water in quite that way. This whole landscape is unique, in fact. Here, now, for us to enjoy. It didn't exist a moment ago, and it won't exist in a moment. I guess you're right, huh? Weird. I never thought about the rain that way. How it makes the world look different, and how that's kind of special, I mean. Your mood just brightened, Cyril. And that made the world a little brighter, didn't it? And that's the other thing about looking at a landscape. The view is affected by the viewer's feelings. Huh. Maybe you're right. When I remember it, I think Almira was a real dull and lonely place. Once you're out of the city, there's nothing but the plains and sky, and they stretch on forever. You can lose yourself out there. That's the kind of place it is. It's strange. When I remember it now, even though it's lonely, it also seems real pretty, too. Maybe the image in your memories is affected by your emotional state. Anyway, it sounds fascinating. Endless plains, boundless sky. That's all Myra, huh? The thought of it makes my pulse quicken. <laughs> You're a big weirdo, Ignatz. Am I? <laughs> I suppose I am. Sitting around, talking about how pretty puddles are? Well, when you put it like that. Still, I'd love to see Almira someday. Cyril, after the war, would you go there with me? We can make some memories of your homeland that aren't all dull and lonely. I don't know. Maybe. But, yeah, I'll think about it. Are you enjoying this lovely day, Dorte? Everyone seems to be in such good spirits. Marianne, do you have a moment? Oh, Ferdinand. What do you need? I have been thinking about what you said. I didn't mean to upset you. You should just ignore me and... You misunderstand. It is not that you upset me. Honestly, you mystify me. You are a noble, and yet you do not wish to be one. Is that not so? I did not expect to hear that from the daughter of Margrave Edmund. But I'm not actually his daughter. He's a distant relative. We share very little of the same blood. But still, you come from a noble lineage, do you not? Oh, no. I'm just a minor noble from the countryside. Minor though it may be, you were born into a noble family, which means you are a noble too. We did not choose to become nobles. We were born into the nobility. I understand, but that's why... Why I said I don't care to be responsible. I had no say in the matter. Marianne, I... My parents and I have suffered because of this bloodline and crest. Even so, I am prepared to do what I must, as the daughter of a noble family. But to be told that's still not enough, I... I just... Ugh. I... I see. I will not pretend to understand, but you should try to calm down a bit. Certainly things did not turn out the way you had hoped, but the conditions are such that... The conditions? Those will never change. There's nothing to do but give up. Please just leave. Ignore me. <sighs> there will be no convincing you. Very well. I will go. Oh, goddess. Why did you curse me with such suffering? Oh, Zenith! Good day to you, and farewell. Just a moment, Hilda. How are you feeling? 
Sorry? Oh, uh, fine. I'm doing just fine. I'm glad to hear it. I had heard that you requested a substitute for your cleaning duty due to an illness. <sighs> you really do know everything, Seth. Just prior to that, you also asked for someone to take your place with table setting. I believe that was due to a uh, wrist injury. It was not too serious, I hope. Ah, you heard about that. The wrist is all healed up, thank you. I seem to recall also that you declined to participate in a mock battle. That was due to a headache, yes? I have a very fragile body, you see? <coughs> <laughs> it's so kind of everyone to make accommodations. Indeed. It is a great friend who offers to help without complaint. See that you treasure such friends, and that you return the favor. Of course. Well, then I should really be... By the way... Was there something else you wanted? It so happens I am on my way to the chapel to offer my prayers. Would you care to join me? No, no, I, I wouldn't want to intrude. I've already offered up all my prayers for the day. Marvelous. We must always remember to give our thanks to the goddess. It is essential that we offer our prayers to her each day, that we reflect on our deeds and strive to live as she would want us to live. For the goddess sees all that we say and do. I... Now, if you will excuse me. Of course. Goodbye now. How is Sedith so scary? It feels like he can see right through me. I guess that's his way of saying stop being lazy. I wish he'd just scold me outright. This is precisely why I try to avoid him. Hello again, Sedith. Oh, full basket. Big catch? Indeed. Thanks to you, I now know all about the proper use of bait. Even so, that's quite the haul. I have developed a few tricks of my own as well. In my enthusiasm, I may have gotten a little greedy. Oh, yeah? Once I started to catch fish, I began to pay very close attention to the number I had caught. I hear it is not uncommon for one to become a little preoccupied with that sort of thing. And when I recalled the prospect of having what I caught cooked for me, the challenge was too tempting to ignore. But alas, it seems I have gotten a little more preoccupied than is appropriate for my age. Well, that's only natural. Seeing what you've already got just makes you curious how far you can take it. It has made fishing an even richer experience for me. And for that, I must thank you. Don't mention it. Actually, I should thank you too. Oh? Yeah. Used to be, I only ever fished for food. Lately, though, I've been coming here just to relax. I do still eat the fish, of course. But I appreciate fishing in a whole new way now. Seems we have both made worthwhile discoveries. So which is it today? Hunger or relaxation? I'd only planned to take it easy, but seeing all you've caught has definitely made me hungry. <laughs> I had planned to bring all of them to you regardless. Take as many as you please. Hey, thanks. In that case, why don't we eat together? You can leave all the cooking to me. <laughs>
I have a report. The enemy is within the walls. They're about to break the defensive line. We have two priorities for this battle. Protect the Archbishop and maintain the defensive line. Reinforcements should arrive soon, so just hold your ground until then. Stay focused. battle a chance to grow. Leave it to me. Ready and willing. It was a good try. Not done yet. Who, me? Come <laughs> on. 
I just worked harder. Let's get to it. I stand ready. So nice of you. I got this. Strength in action. Ready any time. Guide me well. Let us away. Get things done. Feed me, left.
Report. The enemy has taken the entrances where the reinforcements were heading. So long as we can recapture the East and West strongholds, we might be able to call in the reinforcements. Getting better. No. I won't allow it. Haven't withered away just yet. Appreciate. I thought I gave it my all. That's the golden deer for you. I've reached the pinnacle.
no hesitation. Yeah! Oh! That is that. Such power dwells within. is what I do. than before. is but a sideshow to the ravaging of the sacred place that is Garrick Mark.
I guess it worked out. Too chaotic for us to kill each other upon. Let the lesson begin. Ah! Yeah! The time is not right. I will wait for the next opportunity. We took back one of the strongholds. On to the next. I have faith.
appreciate it. I think I've gotten stronger. Easy. Celebrate later.
another one down. Amazing! Guide me well. Thank you. Piece of cake. worked harder. more I can learn. No choice but to distinguish myself in this fight. It's over. I'm finished. I'm loath to say it, but I must retreat. Not bad.
nice of you. held you in such high esteem. In the end, however, it seems you are nothing more than a slave to your goddess. I can afford to fall back. We still have the advantage. We took back both of the strongholds. Let's keep up the momentum. Guide me well. Why, thank you. I got this. How oh, lovely. Just worked harder. Stay focused. I stand ready.
Leave it to me. Ready and willing. My life was changed forever by Her Majesty. Now, I lay it on the line. For the Empire! Let's get to it. Edelgard, I'm so sorry. I can't keep going. I must retreat. Can't get comfortable. Ready any time. I wish you were someone whose heart could be swayed by my words and deeds. If it were so, I would have done anything to make you my ally. Come to regret raising your blade against the Emperor of the Adrestian Empire. I will cover you. 
this situation. Sorry. Ha. Much needed. pretty good at this. Here she is, Her Majesty, looking pleased as a dog with a stick. What exactly happened to make you this way? I'm simply seeing through a promise I made to myself a long time ago. Isn't this much force excessive? Thanks to you, my own long-held ambitions are nearly destroyed. If you don't want them to be destroyed completely, I suggest you turn tail and flee. Enough is enough! <laughs> fought well, but now your fight is over. Send in our reserve troops and give my uncle the signal. What is this? Everybody here, young and old, is in your hands. <clears throat> no, I will not allow another Red Canyon tragedy to happen here. Going on.
What now? In Imperial Year 1181, the new Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hesfeld, led a strategic assault against the monastery at Garrig Mach. Though her own losses were great, her foes had no choice but to surrender. Archbishop Rhea commanded the Knights of Seros, leading from the front lines against the Imperial Army. But amidst the chaos of battle, she vanished, and her whereabouts remain unknown. With this single attack, the Adrestian Empire officially launched its offensive against the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Leicester Alliance. The unification of Fodland has begun. <laughs>